In this lesson, we're going to go ahead and take a look at chat GPT plugins. Now, if you do not have these already, you do have to have the subscription. And the way you're going to add these is by going to your settings on the left hand side, the bottom left, go ahead and click on settings and beta. And when you do, you're going to want to come in and go to beta features. And we did do this earlier in the course, but you do want to make sure that all of these are turned on. Once they're turned on, you're going to see the plugins in your chat GPT menu. Now we're going to talk specifically today about three different plugins. Plugins are a little tricky because sometimes they work really well. Sometimes they just disappear altogether, but these are the ones that we've had the most success with. And the reason we want to share these with you is not so much that you start using these right away, but just so that you can see what's possible with the technology. As we always say, this is the worst version of the technology that we're looking at and that we're using. It's only going to get better over time. And by being able to see that growth from where it was in the beginning, you're going to have a much better idea of what's coming next. And we always want you to be prepared. So the first one we're going to share with you is Access Link. So you're going to search this plugin and we're going to do a video tutorial for you in just a moment. And this one basically is going to allow you to take web pages, PDF files, and be able to have ChatGPT work with the material. Here are a couple of ways that you can use some prompts when using the material, and we're gonna show you what this looks like in a tutorial in just a moment. The next plugin we're gonna take a look at is CapCut. This is personally one of the ones that I think is one of the most fascinating. Now, if you've never used CapCut before, CapCut is a video editing program. It was created by the founders of TikTok, and it is something that is very, very popular that people use on mobile devices. You can use it to add captions. A lot of the Instagram reels and TikTok videos that you see are all edited using CapCut, and CapCut have now created a plugin. CapCut is also available on the browser. It's a, a full-fledged software, and what this does basically is you'll see it in this tutorial. It allows you to Enter a video idea using text and it generates the video for you with captions, with background music, with images that you can edit in post. Here are a couple of ideas they've given you for how you can use it. They can say educators and students can use it to create videos on you know, education topics. Content creators can create this. Business and marketers can use this. It is truly, truly, truly a fascinating use case. And then the last one we're going to show you is Copywriter. And this basically helps you improve the copy of any web page. So you put the URL in, and then basically it will run a full analysis for you. Now, what I thought was really interesting about this particular plugin is that it's trained on really famous copywriting frameworks. So when it's giving you feedback, it's using the frameworks that it's being trained on to evaluate the copy on your page. It can do it for a sales page, a blog post, and you'll see in the video, we really encourage you to experiment with different types. And I asked it, you know, what kind of frameworks are you trained on? And it lists all the different frameworks that it's trained on. IDA is probably the most popular copywriting framework, but you can see over here, there are a couple of other ones as well. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial so you can see what all of these different plugins look like in action. You're going to want to come over into your settings over here and make sure that you are in beta features and that plugins is turned on. Now for you, all three of these areas should be turned on. Once it's turned on, you can come to ChatGPT4 and you will see plugins over here. The next plugin we're going to take a look at is a plugin called Access Link. And this is a way to basically take any link on the internet and get a summary of it. Now, we really recommend Bing or Bard for these kinds of activities because they are already connected to the internet. But let's go ahead and first see what are the capabilities of this plugin. Always a great question to ask in the beginning to see if it gives you a response about what it is that it can do. So here it is. It's telling you the different things that it can do and also the things in this case that it cannot do, which is a great one. So let's go ahead and just start with a simple blog post. And let's go ahead and say, can you summarize 
this blog post into a caption I can share on LinkedIn. And let's see what it does. Now, this is an article that I've written, and anytime I am experimenting with a plugin, I do always like to use things that I am really familiar with when it comes to content so that I can evaluate how accurate it is, um, where it might be missing things, and things like that. So this is pretty, pretty good. And if I was to come here now and say, can you share the top five points in this article. Let's see how it does there. So always test your tools. And so yeah, this is doing a pretty good job. This is exactly what I wrote about in the article. But I love also how it's organizing these ideas. All right, and let's go ahead and try something a little more intense this time. So let's go ahead and take this article from McKinsey and say, can you summarize the top three ideas in this post so I can share them in on LinkedIn? So let's go ahead and see what it does. And here we go. I really love the way this is organizing ideas. And then it's at the bottom going to go ahead and give me a LinkedIn caption that I could use. So this is a really great way to just be able to share ideas from articles and things like that. And the last one I want to test here with you, this time this is a link to a Google Doc. This is an article I wrote. So again, let's go ahead and say, um, can you share the top three ideas from this article? And let's see if it's able to do that. Okay, so we can see over here that it's not able to get into a Google Doc. And so it's saying that, you know, if you cut and paste the text, I'll be able to summarize it from there. So this is really something that is doing, you know, web links, but not categorizing Google Docs as web links. So have fun playing with this tool. And as always, we're excited to hear how you're trying things. CapCut is one of my absolute favorite video editing tools. And so in this example, I want to see what two plugins together might look like. So I'm going to go ahead and say, can you create a video 20 seconds long summarizing the ideas from this blog post? And let's see what it's able to come up with. So you can see first it's using the link and it's going to go ahead and read the article. And it's going to say these are the ideas that we can use to create that video. Now, you could go back and forth with this. It's going to check with me to see what kind of ratio I want. 16 to 9 is great. So let's go ahead now and see what happens. And one of the reasons I show this is not because this is a fantastic way to create videos, but I think it's so important to see how technology is evolving because that's really what allows you to stay on the cutting edge of things. So let's go ahead now. It's created a link for us that we can use to go ahead and view the video. So let's go ahead and copy this link. And you do need Chrome to be able to use CapCut. You can see actually I've got CapCut in one of my shortcuts over here. So here's the URL that we got from ChatGPT and you can see over here it is loading the video up in CapCut. It's going to take a couple seconds and let's go ahead and take a look. In a rapidly this. evolving AI driven world, education must adapt. This blog post discusses the importance of co-creating AI policies with students using design, thinking, it emphasizes the need to move beyond traditional paradigms and focus on fostering an environment where students identify themselves as ethical, responsible learners. The post also highlights the importance of integrating AI into classrooms in a human-centric, ethical, and forward-looking way. It ends with a call to action, encouraging educators to use design thinking to inspire students and shape the future of education. So you can see over here, definitely not a video that I would create in terms of these graphics, but definitely something that is just absolutely fascinating in terms of the fact that the technology can actually work in this way. You can see over here on the left-hand side, I can actually see all of the assets. So I can come in and I can replace an image if I need to. I can edit any of the text. I'm actually really impressed with the transcription, but I could come over here into CapCut. I can edit the captions and I can go ahead and, you know, 
change the style. I can also, you know, narrate with my own voice if I wanted to. But this to me is probably one of the most fascinating uses of plugins because again, this is the worst of the technology that we're going to see. And the idea that this is going to rapidly get better really, really, really tells us um, so many things about where we should be focusing our skill development and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I'm excited to see what you create. And as always, share your ideas with us in the community. Oh, you saw Access Link and CapCut together. So let's go ahead and take a look at CapCut on its own. So again, if we wanted to use a plugin in isolation, we would just go ahead and uncheck the one that we no longer want. But first of all, we wanna go ahead and see what are the capabilities of this plugin. Always a great question to start with so that you can see if it's gonna give you a response. Usually it does. Let's, you know, sometimes it may not. It looks like for this one, it might create a video about the capabilities of this plugin. Okay, there we go. So it's giving us a description over here and it's telling us all of the different things. To be honest, it's probably one of the best overviews that I've seen. But I love this for being able to get ideas for what is possible. So again, from here, you can really just put in like, I want you to create a, a video about any single topic. And in this case, we're going to say, um, I want you to create a video about AI and education. So it's going to say over here, I need more details, the intended audience. I mean, this is such a great way to get you to think more deeply about the kind of story it is you want to tell. You can go ahead and you can keep entering the information based on what your topic is, but you saw in the previous example what it looks like once CapCut has the information that it needs to be able to go ahead and create that video for you. And right now we have the first plugin enabled, which is Copywriter. So Copywriter, and you know, if you don't know what a plugin does, you can come over to ChatGPT and you can say, what are the capabilities of this plugin? And it will usually give you a list of the things that it's able to do. So it's going to tell us over here, these are all the different things that it can do to help improve the sales copy of a web page. Now, this can do it for sales pages. It can do it for blog posts. I always recommend trying it with anything. So I'm actually going to try this with the AI bootcamp and I'm not actually even going to give it any direction. I'm just going to go ahead and put the link right in there and see what it does initially. And then from there we can engage in a bit more of a back and forth comprehend, um, conversation. And so you'll see over here, it's given me an overview of what it thinks and then it's going to go item by item and actually tell me how it thinks I can make the page better. It's going to tell me what's working well, how I can tweak certain things. And so you get a pretty good idea of what it does. And again, I'm just gonna come over here, just drop the link in. It's gonna activate the plugin. And so you'll see over here that it's already recognized that this is a blog post versus a sales page. And again, it's gonna go item by item and give me feedback on how I can make it better from things like creating a more succinct title and working through all the different areas of my blog post for how I can make this piece more thoughtful. So have fun, experiment with this plugin, and as always, let us know what you're trying.